Hello, and welcome to the Solo Experiment School of Music. I will teach you to make a 60-minute album in less than 8 hours for about $200. The first thing you need is a place to record the music. This is called a studio. It needs to be someplace where you won't bug the parents or neighbors. I recommend the back of a car. You can drive down to the far end of the parking lot, roll up the windows, they'll probably leave you alone most of the time, and if they don't, you can always drive someplace else. Can you hear me now? In the summertime, when the heat is high, you'll find me there in the back of my truck. When the summertime and the air is dry, you'll find me living in the back of my truck. Cause there ain't no bugs in the back of that truck. There's me and a whole lot of bugs in the summertime. Chapter 2. The next thing you need is some recording equipment, and this is called recording equipment. Since you're doing this in the back of a car, you need something battery operated. You're probably thinking a laptop, but not for $200. I use a Fostex model X18 4-track cassette recorder. This one is actually the third X18 I've used. I bought this one at a pawn shop for 65 bucks. One of the tracks doesn't work, but you know, three tracks is plenty enough right there. If you can't find an X18, you can always use a Walkman-type cassette recorder. Try to get one with a line-in, a line-out, a built-in microphone, and most important, find one that uses four batteries instead of two, it will last longer. If you want to go digital, there is a Zoom model PS04. It's a little complicated and it doesn't give you a lot of recording time, but it is an option. If your equipment doesn't have a built-in microphone, you'll need to get a microphone. Try to get one of those good high-quality $10 microphones if you can. The $5 ones are okay in a pinch, but by all accounts, avoid the dollar store microphones. I think I found the cheapest microphone It's one I own You will agree It is the cheapest one to me You agree Chapter 3, Finding the Right Instruments This is where you should be spending most of the money but you need to know where to shop first and when First of all, avoid the music store. I know it sounds crazy, but you could probably spend the entire $200 on one guitar. Avoid the pawn shop, same reason. The key here is to buy as many different things as possible so that all your songs don't sound exactly the same. So here's what you do. Go to the toy store clearance aisle sometime around April or October. Thrift stores are good all year round. If you can't find what you're looking for, just do without. If you find something and you don't know how to play it, figure it out. Be patient, trust me, you'll find stuff. I went to the store, through the sliding door. I didn't know what was in store at the store. I wasn't looking for toys. I was looking for things to make some noise. I got acoustic guitar. Twenty dollars, a bass guitar. Twenty dollars, a set of drums. Fifteen bucks, I don't know how to play them, but oh well. A toy accordion. Nine dollars, soprano ukulele. Nine dollars, battery powered amp. Only five bucks, I like it.